Hey guys, how's it going? Becky here for Live at Nine um, to give you an update on my 21 day cleanse, day 13. Man, 13 days. I am shocked and excited and just overall like very surprised that I've made it this far on this cleanse without getting derailed, without cheating, without giving up, <laughs> all those things. I have been more than surprised how well my body, my system, my mindset have adapted to this cleanse. If you guys are just tuning in for, say, the first time, um, you may not know that I avoided doing this cleanse, uh, which is a 21-day cleanse that basically takes you from omnivoric eating down to vegan eating over the course of three weeks. Kind of an elimination type diet, basically. Nothing crazy. You get to eat lots of foods, as I learn. But um, but the word cleanse had always kind of scared me. Like, it implied to me that I was going to be hungry, that I was going to be eating strange food, which I have been, um, but that I was just not going to get enough. You know, that like, when you cleanse, you have to restrict your calories so much that you're just like constantly hangry and headachey and ick. That's what I thought was going to happen. That's not what has happened. What has happened is that I have been eating a massive quantity of whole, mostly raw foods. Um, I'm sleeping really good. I'm overall feeling really good. Um, I haven't weighed in about a week, but on Monday morning I'll do that. But in my first week, I lost five pounds um, of junk and fluff from my uh, work trip to Nashville the week before. Um, and just overall, guys, I'm actually really enjoying the process. I can't believe I'm saying that. But I'm enjoying the process of learning about the foods I'm eating and why they picked those foods for this cleanse, what they do to your body. Um, you know, each week is a different phase. So like the first week was just craziness. The portions were nuts, but it was kind of, I think like training you to get used to this style of eating. And then the week I'm in right now is more about detoxing. So it's a lot of, um, fruits, veggies, and grains. And you drink this detox drink, which is basically just fiber, um, to help move things along. Anyway, without going into the rabbit hole of details, it's been an eye-opening experience. I would highly recommend this for anybody. Um, and again, this is coming from me, who was like terrified to do this cleanse for two years. Um, I wish I had not been such a scaredy cat and tried it two years ago. Um, anyway, day 13. I have just over a week left to go. And I'm excited to see what happens. I'm excited to give you guys the final report when that when that time comes. But for now, let's go through what happened in day 13. So yesterday, if you watched my yesterday video, um, you probably saw I was a little bit of a cranky pants. I think looking back on it, that was because I didn't get enough sleep. Um, just in general, your body and your mind are both under some extra stress when you're doing this cleanse because there's a whole gob of stuff you have to think about that you don't normally have to think about. Not to mention that your body actually is detoxing. That's the whole point. So it's working hard on the inside as well. So when you stress it out with other stuff like not enough sleep or too much exercise or just stress in general, um, I feel like it kind of amplifies it. So I think that's what my problem was yesterday is I didn't, I only got, I got less than six hours of sleep, which is not enough for me. And then that on top of just a regular cleanse day, I was kind of like, Meh. so last night I got great sleep. I got almost eight hours whoop, whoop. and uh, today started out a whole lot better. Got up early, got motivated, did some work, had a great walk on the beach with my dog and my husband and uh, had my big fruit plate for breakfast, which was really yummy and delicious. Um, then... Got some more work done, I think. I don't know. It was Saturday, so it's kind of a slow day. But, um, you know, lunchtime rolled around, and I had uh, my big microgreen salad, which was good. And then right at 2 o'clock, um, I had my alkalinize supplement, which is like a greens, like powdered greens, um, to try and alkal alkalinize your body. 
but I had it specifically at two because here's the, here's the big news of today. I was going to see a movie in a movie theater this afternoon. Um, we don't go to the movies often, but, and so normally when we do go, I want to like live it up and have a giant tub of popcorn and just eat it all and maybe even have like a Coke with that. So just like a sugar processed ick bomb every time I go to the movies. I love it. But none of that is allowed on this cleanse. <laughs> really, none of it should be allowed in your body ever. Um, but it's specifically not allowed on this cleanse. So what I did, guys, is I made it I made a live video on this on my personal page. Um, so I won't rehash all the details, but what I did is I prepared for success. Yes, I broke the movie theater rules by bringing in food, but that's a rule I'm willing to break for my own health. Um, so I packed two jugs of water, I packed a sliced up green apple, and I packed some awesome kale chips that I had made the day before, because I had way too much kale to fit in my fridge. Um, but you basically just take kale and bake it uh, with some olive oil and salt for about 15, 15 minutes, I think. And they turn into awesome little crispy chips that you can eat just like popcorn, except they're made of greens. So that was an awesome win. I was not hungry during the movie. Um, I had a Shakeology packet in my purse just as like a backup in case I was hungry and tempted to reach for anything naughty. Um, but I didn't have to use it. So... Overall, the movie experience was an awesome success, and in the future, I will definitely be taking those type of snacks with me every time, because I didn't feel like I'd just eaten 4,000 calories in popcorn when I walked out of there. I felt good. I felt awake. I felt not bloated and not indigestion-y and all that stuff, so I felt good. That decision paid off big time. So, high five to me. Um... The rest of this day has been interesting. Dinner tonight was the first time, 13 days in, the first time I really did not like what I had at all. Um, it was, <clears throat> the best part about it was a cup and a half of steamed broccoli, plain, if that gives you any idea. <laughs> But that broccoli was freaking good, right? It was good. My taste buds are definitely changing and um, pulling out more flavors from even th something as basic as plain broccoli. So that's cool. Look for the positive, <clears throat> right? Um, so the other part of the meal was this thing called a, I don't know how to say it, but basically it's an acorn squash. If you see those in the store, they look like a big dark green acorn. Um, an acorn squash roasted open face with a tahini and miso and garlic sauce. I put sauce in quotes because mine was not anything like a sauce. It was a paste, like thick peanut butter. And as I learned today, when I started mixing up the tahini, it came in a big can, and was basically like a paste with a big bunch of oil on top. So it was essentially, what I learned is that it's um, basically like sesame butter. Uh, so if you think of peanut butter, when you get the natural kind, it separates the oil and the nuts. Um, same thing. So I had to mix up the tahini paste and then mixed it with um, some miso paste and then some garlic. And basically it turned into like this hard glob of like peanut butter, basically. The same consistency as like a thick glob of peanut butter. So you're supposed to paint that onto the squash, bake it, and you know, when I sat down to eat it, I was like, I'm gonna have an open mind. I'm gonna have an open mind about this. And it didn't taste bad, but it didn't taste good either. Like the squash was fine. I like those squash plain, um, or with some like olive oil and herbs. But with the tahini, miso garlic butter paste on it it was just like freaking weird I mean it was just weird I don't even know how to describe it like one bite you'd get this like peanut buttery flavor on a squash and then the next bite you get this like super miso-y flavor 
also on a squash. Overall, it was just strange. I mean, I don't even know how to describe it, but I ate it because that's what you do. And then the second serving that I was supposed to have for tomorrow with my lunch, I threw it away. I am calling uncle on that squash. Weird peanut butter miso squash. No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat the other serving of beets <laughs> that I had today at lunch with my salad instead and call it a day. So keep that in mind, guys. If you run across something on this cleanse that you absolutely despise, you don't have to eat it. They have lots of alternate options. Um, my goal was to follow this as close to exact as possible, which is why I'm sticking it out. But um, yeah, there's no way I'm eating that squash concoction again, <laughs> ever. <laughs> I am curious, though, what else I can use tahini for, because now I have this huge can of it, and it's actually really good. It's like, I mean, I could probably just spread it on bread, but I'm sure there's something awesome I can put it in. I just don't know the recipe. So that is my recap for day 13. Overall, a win. Weirdest part of the day was dinner. Biggest success was making it through the movie with my healthy snacks and just overall feeling good. I'm going to get another good night's rest tonight and feel awesome tomorrow so I can be productive and hopefully tackle whatever sort of food they have in store for me tomorrow. So thanks for tuning in, guys. If you got value out of this, give me a like. Um, if you know anybody who needs to learn this stuff, is considering taking this cleanse on, share this video with them, help them out, help them understand what they're in for. And uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Have a great night, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.